everyone, so today I'm doing a huge fall haul. I'm gonna be showing you a bunch of things that I've been accumulating all fall long. I have anything from fashion to makeup to jewelry to home decor, just a bunch of things that, like I said, I've accumulated all fall long and I'm gonna show them to you. So, um, anyway, some of these things were gifted to me, which I will mention which ones were gifted, and then some of these things I purchased with my own doll hairs. Also, per usual, I will have everything that I mentioned today linked down in the description box for you. Um, anyways, before I babble on any longer, let's get into it. The so first place I'm gonna mention is Eta Love or Eta Love. It's basically hate backwards and then love. And I mentioned this brand in my gift guide for the strange and unusual last year which I fully plan on doing another one this year um, and I really really love their jewelry they have all sorts of silver jewelry it's really beautiful and they recently came out with a whole tarot inspired line and invited me to pick out some pieces from that I also picked out a couple other pieces from their site so I'm just gonna show you the whole thing everything I picked out so these were gifted to me but I can't wait to show you I also have a coupon code for Eta Love, which I will put near around here and also down in the description box for you. And I believe it's good until November. I wanna say it's November 8th. Anyway, so the first piece I got from their tarot inspired line. All right, so I'm gonna start with the rings first because I'm gonna end up putting them on and wearing them for the rest of the video. But the first ring I got, this one is called the High Priestess. It's this gorgeous silver ring with this oval shape. And then it has a crescent moon inside, like etched inside and looks like a, some branches or a branchy tree. And then if you look at the side of this, they have the most gorgeous intricate designs on all of their jewelry pieces. So there's a really pretty intricate design on the side. It's beautiful, magical, and all things witchy, all the vibes that I love in any sort of jewelry or really any piece ever. So I love this, love the crescent moon. All right, so next up from Eta Love is this ring called the Emperor. And it is this gorgeous, once again, really high quality silver ring with this, it's a blue, like a navy blue swirly looking stone. It, and on the website it said it's blue Peter sight in the center, that's what the stone is. And then on either side of the stone, there's a ram head, which is so detailed. The quality and the detail on this jewelry is on another level, I can't get over it or stop talking about it. Love, love, love the ram heads on this and the stone, but just overall, it looks so awesome on. Next up as part of the tarot inspired line, this is a necklace, it's called the Empress. And it is a necklace with a scepter. And the scepter is a pretty good size. It's not like a little tiny dinky thing. In comparison to my hand, you can see that it's a pretty good size. And then at the top of the scepter, I believe it is, let's see what it says here. It is a rounded azurite malachite um, that symbolizes the earth. And the scepter itself has this really gorgeous detail and etching, and this beautiful silver chain, and the clasps on their necklaces. I talked about this in my gift guide video. The clasps are really beautiful. They have their own little intricate design. This one has a little rose on the clasp and it's just a really heavy duty clasp. So even when I had my long claws on, I could still manage the clasp. It wasn't this little teeny tiny thing that was so hard to get looped on. Really beautiful, intricate, and really, really good quality. I also picked out these earrings called the Hierophant. And it's a pair of silver studded earrings and one of them is a cross and the other one is the pair of two fingers pointing to the sky. Really detailed and really beautiful and high quality. All right, so a couple other pieces I picked out that I really wanted to mention. This one is a necklace. I am obsessed with this. This necklace is called the Omen. And once again, it is a silver chain necklace. And the pendant on this is a death moth. And it is so detailed. Once again, it has a little rose design on the wings and then a spider web design down at the lower wing. And then the body of the moth is a sword. And then the back of the moth also has a little spider web detail. This one is especially detailed and so pretty in the size is just perfect. And once again, it has a really pretty silver chain and the clasp with the little rose design on it. All right, last but not least, I got this ring. This one is called Bewitched. It's this really pretty purple stone silver ring with this really, really pretty 
rose and leaf design around the ring. It is so pretty. It really stands out on the finger. It pops and it's sparkly and amazing. And then the detail on the ring itself with the rose design is so beautiful. Once again, really intricate, really well made. Such a magical, witchy looking type of ring. Also, these pieces came with a little 22 card tarot card set. Um, you can also buy them separately, I believe. Um, once again, I will have my coupon code for uh, Atel Love. All the pieces will be linked down in the description box, so I'll just put the coupon code there. And the code is good until November 8th. All right, I'm gonna move on to what I'm wearing, which is Disturbia. I got a couple pieces from Disturbia. They invited me to pick out a couple of pieces from their website. So once again, these items are gifted. So the first piece I got is the one I'm wearing. I am so obsessed with this dress. I talked about it in Vlogween, how much I love this piece. It is this maroon midi style dress. It's the most comfortable dress and the most flattering dress. I love everything about it. It's this gorgeous maroon shade. It's kind of got like a flowy skirt to it and then it has a seam kind of under the bust area, kind of high waist area and then it has some white buttons that go all the way up and then it has this gorgeous white collar that's giving me some Sabrina vibes, I'm not gonna lie. And then it's short sleeve and the sleeve has a little bit of a lace, like a crocheted lace design as well. It is the perfect fall dress. And then of course I paired it with a maroon hat, which this is actually from ASOS a couple years ago, but it matches it perfectly and I get this whole maroon witchy vibe. All right, next up I got this dress. I am obsessed with this material. I almost want to order everything they offer in this material, in this print, everything. It is this tank top baby doll dress uh, and it's a mini dress with once again kind of that really flowy type of skirt. It has a hem at the waist and then it just goes into kind of like a tank top type of top. There's no stretch at all in this piece but it's really 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 soft, really nice. Feels amazing on, really comfortable. And it's this black and white check print, which I love everything about this. I love any sort of black and white pattern. It's my thing. And the reason I love this dress so much is I feel like it can easily be transitioned into fall. I feel like it could easily be worn with any sort of mesh top fishnet or even a turtleneck or anything like that. Maybe even a thermal top underneath it. And then leggings or jeans or fishnet tights or anything like that. All right, last thing I got from Disturbia is this skirt. It is this almost kilt looking skirt. It is a midi length skirt, a really nice thick material. And it's got this really subtle kind of check plaid print to it. And then it has these three buckles on the side and then a little bit of pleating on the side as well. Also doesn't have any stretch. I got this skirt to wear either, there's two different ways. So they had one way they showed it on the Disturbia website where someone was wearing this skirt with a really oversized long sleeve shirt. It was really cool looking and looked really comfortable. But also I feel like I could wear this skirt with once again a fishnet top or a mesh top or even a band tee. I feel like this type of skirt can go with anything but I love any sort of midi length anything, really any time of year, but especially in the fall. All right, next up I got some things from Valfrey. So Valfrey invited me to pick out some of their Halloween stuff that they put out. And I was so excited because they have some really cute home decor and some clothing pieces that I picked out. All right, so first up I got this witchy hat. It is this wide brim black hat with these tassels around the brim which is just on a whole other level of excitement. I don't have anything like this and I love it so much. And then also it has the little ribbon attached that you can kind of, here I'll put it on, that you can tie, oh my gosh, this is so cute. You can tie under your chin like so and that way the wind won't blow your hat right off. It is nice and secured. And something about it, I don't know why I'm feeling like a goth little Bo Peep right now, but I love everything about it. And it's definitely optional. So you can definitely tuck in the ribbon into the hat and just wear it as a normal kind of witchy style hat. So you can wear it further back on the head or a little bit further forward for something a little bit different. So I love everything about this hat. Right, next up from Valfrey's Halloween line, I got this long sleeve, cute little vampire shirt. 
and it's just a black long sleeve shirt with a heart for the little vampire Valfrey ghoul in there. Then on the sleeves, there are these yellow hearts all the way down, which is super cute. And it's just a really comfortable long sleeve t-shirt with a little something spooky on it. Next up from Valfrey, with their Halloween collection, they released some home decor stuff. And I'm so excited to show you these pieces because you know these are gonna be all year round pieces for me. All right, first thing I got from the Valfrey Halloween Home Collection is this pillow. I am so excited about this pillow. It is this witchy pillow with this little witch that's all tatted up that is flying on a broom with this witchy hat in front of this moon. Love the cape and the hair and the stars and all the things. This is just such a cute print. Maybe one of my favorites I've seen from Valfrey. And the pillowcase itself is this really nice woven material. It's really nice and soft. I love this so much. And then it has a little orange detail around the eye area that's kind of like an eyeshadow look. Love this, love this witchy situation. Probably gonna keep this in my office all year round because I love it so much. All right, next up is this blanket, which I'm just gonna have to show you what it looks like all spread out because I know I'm not gonna be able to show you on this little tiny frame. Um, but it is this woven blanket, the moon on it is what it is. Um, but it's a crescent moon with a face and a, I can't tell if it's a wizard hat or a witchy hat or both, which I love. And then it has stars all over it too. And then around the blanket, there's all this fringe. It is so pretty and so magical. And I chose the moon one because I thought the moon would be a great all year round type of piece. All right, next up, I got some pieces from Shein or some people call it Shine, but if you're an OG subscriber here, then you know it used to be called She Inside like years ago and they changed it to Shein or some people call it Shine, it's S-H-E-I-N and it's been a minute since I've ordered some things from Shein, but they had some really amazing spooky pieces. Also, as I was shopping for their kind of spooky Halloween stuff, I also saw some really pretty plus size uh, Halloween stuff and also plus size just like witchy pieces and really pretty lingerie and spooky bathing suits even. So once again, I'll put my picks down in the description box for you. So first up from Shein or Shine or whatever you wanna call it, is this piece that I mentioned this in my vlogoween video. This piece was in an ad on Facebook and I was like, maybe this is the one time the algorithms actually worked and the targeted ads found me. Um, and it is this super fuzzy, amazing soft I want to live in this this may be my new human cocoon type of sweater it has a skull on it which makes it even better it is this really 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 soft super soft like I want to sleep in this cuddle with this I don't even know but I love it so much type of feel and then it has this kind of sweater material yeah the skull feels more of like a sweater material like knit material is so soft and comfortable and cozy and perfect for fall into winter and it's a little bit spooky so you know I love it. Alright next thing I got from Shein is this black and white stripe knit sweater and it is just a long sleeve distressed looking long sweater. It looks a lot like the one from Killstar but for a fraction of the price I'm not gonna lie. This one definitely is a little bit on the longer side more of like a tunic style which I love and it has a little bit of a distressed area on it. Also just all around love a black and white striped everything. I can't stop with the black and white stripes. Someone's gonna have to stop me eventually but and the sweater is a little bit on the sheer side because the knitting is kind of like there's some space in between so it is a little bit more sheer. So what I do is I've been wearing just like a long sleeve kind of skater dress with it. Love, love, love a good layering piece and this is perfect. Right, next up is this white. I don't know what it is about the white lately. I've been ordering white tops. I guess I'm a change school, but not really. It's just a really pretty white blouse. The reason I picked this out, honestly, it is white balancing all over the place. My apologies. But the real reason I picked this out is yes, I love Love the kind of bigger uh, bishop sleeve with a cuff that has some really nice, this has like a little pearl looking detail. Um, but the main reason I picked this out is because I was obsessed 
with this pointy witchy collar and just had all of these plans for it. And I feel like this would be the perfect top to kind of wear one of my black little ties, tie it in a bow and go for a whole witchy vibe, maybe wear a black skirt with it. But I'm obsessed with this sharp pointy collar and I am a sucker for a collar, so I'm obsessed with this whole top. Next up, I got this pumpkin orange blouse. This is the most gorgeous orange color. It buttons all the way down and it has this ruffle in the front on either side of the buttons. And then it has a built-in little tie in the front. So I don't have to use one of my ties. It automatically has one kind of built in. So you get that kind of all the ruffles and then the bow and it just has all this texture and dimension in the front. But I feel like this is branching out for me because I'm usually a black tell death girl. The reason I picked it out is because of this next thing. The next piece is a black pinafore dress but it is a long midi style dress. So it has this whole kind of strap, almost suspender look to it, but then this longer kind of witchy skirt. It's making me feel seriously all of the witchy vibes with this whole pinafore situation. All right, last thing I got from Shein. I was so excited to see these on the website. I was not expecting it at all. I just saw them and I got all excited. They are these black loafers, but that's not all. They're not just black loafers. They have this goldish, it's kind of like, I'm not gonna lie, it is a little bit on the tan side. This isn't my favorite, I kind of wish it was white, but I understand that that would get dirty. So I'm not too mad at the tan because it's a bat and the bat is just what sells it for me. So it is a black faux leather loafer with this embroidered bat on the shoe. And it also has this kind of brass looking buckle on it, but it's all about the embroidered bat. We know it. They also have some other styles that have little bats all over them, which I'll link down in the description box if you're looking for something like that. Uh, but I love the loafer with the big bat on it. I am so obsessed with these shoes. I cannot get enough. I'm so excited to wear these. I'm loving all the sophisticated goth vibes and I'm obsessed with these. Oh, I'm so excited about these. Right, next up, I'm moving on to makeup. I got some things. I got some liquid lipsticks. So I wanted some new liquid lipsticks for the fall season and into winter and all the things. A lot of my liquid lipsticks have either expired or I've used them all. Like my black lipstick, I was completely out and I was like, uh-oh, am I gonna be able to get some? Cause this time of year, you never know. So I went on Lime Crime and they were having a sale like 50% off their liquid lipsticks. So I picked out a couple of shades. The first one I'm wearing, and I actually have the tube in my bathroom, so I don't have it with me, but it is the Lime Crime Black Velvet Velveteen, which is my favorite black liquid lipstick formula. It is the best. I love it. It's opaque. It's really light. And all liquid lipsticks feel a little bit drying. I'm used to it by now, so I don't really know which ones are more drying than others because they all feel the same to me. Um, but I would say Lime Crime feels really good on the lips to me. It's definitely one of the lightest formulas on the lips, like not heavy feeling um, and easily can be layered. So like if you eat after you put on your liquid lipstick and some of it comes off, you can put another layer on. It doesn't look all gross or it doesn't crust off or flake off and get way too heavy. It's like that really, it's still really light and layers really nicely. So that's why Lime Crime has my favorite liquid lipsticks. So, okay. I also got this shade, which I've never tried before, so we'll see. It's called Scandal. Here's the box, the Velveteen. It's called Scandal, and it looks like this. I'll do a little swatch for you, but it is this really pretty kind of purple fuchsia type of shade. So one of my favorite ever liquid lipstick shades from uh, Lime Crime was Fetish and they discontinued it and my heart is broken into a million pieces. So I'm trying Scandal because it looks like a similar dark, deep kind of purple fuchsia shade and Fetish was kind of like that. All right, next up I got, this is one of my favorites. This is called Shroom and it's kind of like a burnt orange. It's almost like a pumpkin shade meets a camel shade almost. It's just a really nice warm tone for fall because it has a little bit of depth to it to where it's not like a nude. Um, but it's also not too dark. It's like a really nice, amazing, warm lip for any sort of warm tone eye, anything like that. Love this shade, I've used this before. Also, I went on Black Moon Cosmetics because a couple months ago I bought one of their liquid lipstick shades called Purgatory, which is like a really, really, really deep purple, almost black, and I love it. And so I went on their website and ordered a couple more things. I got this Autumn Trio 
which I love this packaging and just had to show you because it is so magical. So it has three different shades. I'm curious to see these shades on. I haven't even tried them on or swatched them yet. But the first one is called Harvest and it's this really pretty pumpkin orange shade. I'm really interested in seeing how this looks on. Okay, it's kind of like an orange pumpkin. It's almost like a pumpkin meets a salmon color a little bit. It looks more orange on my monitor, but in person it has a little bit more of a red tint to it. This one is called Hazel, and it is this really amazing barf green color, which some people might be offended by the word barf green, but it's one of my favorite colors ever. And if you want another word for it, it's like some people might call it mossy green or army green, but I call it barf green because that's my favorite word for it. By the way, this packaging is so magical. Look at the little moon and star. And I love weird lipstick shades like this, so I'm so excited about this. It is this green, yes, it looks straight from The Exorcist, uh, green. Maybe a full monochromatic barf green look with the eyeshadow and the lips and everything. Last but not least from the Autumn Trio is this one. What is this called? Cider. It is this mustard color. We'll see uh, what it looks like swatched. I love this shade. This is so pretty. It is just a really classic mustard type of look. I just love the look of Hazel and what was the other one? Cider. But the trio is amazing in itself, but I love a good weird shade. Also, I really wanted to try their black lipstick. I still wanted to reorder my Lime Crime one just in case because it's my favorite of all time. And also I wear so much black lipstick that I go through it like crazy. So I figured it wouldn't hurt to get a little backup and try something new. So I just got the Black Moon Cosmetics. Uh, liquid lipstick in the shade Sleepwalker is what it's called and it's just a black liquid lipstick matte liquid lipstick and it looks really opaque that's just one swipe so I'm really excited about this one should I go ahead and swatch the ones from Lime Crime let's go ahead and do that all right let's try this one which one was this one Scandal from Lime Crime should have just gone ahead and okay really pretty fuchsia definitely doesn't seem as dark as fetish even just looking at it. And then Shroom. Shroom is like a little bit more of a pumpkin-y, if that's a word, a pumpkin version of the cider shade. You can see here, there's the Shroom shade. It's definitely a little bit more on the orange side, like a burnt orange in comparison to cider, which is that mustard shade. Uh, those are the liquid lipsticks I got. So moving on, I got some PR from Anastasia. Hopefully I didn't just get purple in my hair. That would not be good. Okay, uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills sent over some PR uh, for their holiday collection and also some new stuff that they put out, I think. I really wanted to mention it because I know the Sephora sale is coming up and I don't know how many of these products are being sold on Sephora or if they're just, if they're just exclusive to the Anastasia Beverly Hills website. But either way, I figured I'd show you and if I can find them on Sephora's website, I'll put them down in the description. Um, and if not, I'll just link to the Anastasia website because either way, these products are really good. I'm really excited about it. All right, so first of all, I got some stuff from their holiday collection. I got this Haute Holiday Lip Gloss Set. And it is a lip gloss set that has really pretty lip gloss options. It has a really pretty nude, a really pretty kind of champagne colored, and then a clear gloss. It's not totally clear. It's got a little bit of a shimmer to it. It's got a little bit of a pink tinge to it. And then this really pretty pink sparkly one or glittery one or shimmery. And it's just like a little mini lip gloss set. This would be really great for a little stocking stuffer. Also, this Soft Glam 2 palette, which is just this little mini palette, and the inside, these shades are probably some of my favorite Anastasia Beverly Hills shades, honestly, um, but it's the perfect little mini fall palette, which is why I wanted to mention it in this video. Some really amazing warm tones. It has a really pretty camel color, a really pretty orangey shade that's great for a transition shade called Orange Soda this mulberry shade, which is an amazing kind of cranberry, rusty, almost like a rusty cranberry shade, but it has the perfect balance of warm shades, has a black shade in there, it has a lighter matte shade, which I like using on my brow bone, and then it has a couple of shimmery shades, one that would be perfect for the inner corner, and then they also have one that would be really pretty on the lid. So I feel like this is a really, really great everyday palette for fall and winter. I kind of want to do a tutorial on it if you want to see 
see one, let me know. Their black eyeshadow is the blackest of black. It is my favorite eyeshadow. I cannot get enough of Anastasia Beverly Hills black eyeshadow. It's called Noir. If I had to recommend any black eyeshadow, that would be it. Love that palette, so excited about it. Okay, also I got some of these. These are really new, like I just got these. And I'm really excited about this and really excited to swatch these and see what it's about. So this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Pin. I'm so excited about these because I love brow pins because I feel like you can get a really good line. Like it can actually look like real hair or sometimes I feel like pencils and stuff. It just can kind of start smudging and where the brow pins look more, let's see what this is about. They look like you can get that precise line. Looks like some other pins that I've used. Which one is this shade? This is great. Oh no, I didn't see what shade it, oh, soft brown is what this shade is. This one is soft brown. It's a really, you can see how small that line is. So you can get a really precise application and make it look like actual hair on your brows when you really just tweeze the crap out of them in the 90s if you're anything like me. Um, this one is called Taupe, but it looks a little warmer to me than most taupes. This is it right here. Kind of looks like this mustard shade up here. It's like very warm. Um, and then this one is called medium brown. And oh, this is a nice one. This one's very cool tone. Love this. Love this. This is probably about my shade because my brows are darker than my hair. Kind of like an ashier brown is what it looks like. But I'm really excited to try these because it looks like the lines are nice and thin and it doesn't look like it's one of those types that's gonna like splay and get all weird. I right, also got some of these Anastasia Beverly Hills lip stains which this is a little bit different than their liquid lipstick, which I'm a huge fan of their liquid lipstick, but I'm not gonna lie, I did swatch this one on my hand the minute I got it because I wanted to see what it looked like on. It is definitely more of a sheer formula. It dries matte like a liquid lipstick, but it's definitely more of a sheer formula. So I don't even know where I'm putting this. More of a lip stain, like when you think of a stain. Like you just ate a popsicle kind of stain where it's definitely more, where it's not as opaque. It's just a little bit more, like it just accentuates your lips a little bit, but it doesn't entirely coat them. That shade was called, what is this? Gray Mauve, which I'm a huge fan of anything gray and mauve, so I love that. This one is called Rosewood. Let's try this. Ooh. So this one's more of like a coral. Oh, that smells so good. Mm. It's more of like a coral shade, but you can see that it's Definitely on the sheer side once again. And then the next shade is Black Cherry. And it looks like it's more of a red shade. I just used way too much. Okay, well, I just messed that up. But it's definitely a cherry color. What am I gonna do with this on my finger? Oh God, this is a mess. Okay, okay. All right, last but not least, this is the shade Dusty Rose. It's like a really pretty pinky mauve. And I love this packaging. It's like a really pretty matte packaging. And this one is... Oh, yeah, that's really pretty. It's like a brownish, a brownish pink. I don't know, like it really is kind of a dusty rose shade, um, but they're all really pretty. Love the packaging, and I can't wait to kind of try these out and see what they look like on the lip. Last but not least is this Anastasia Beverly Hills Loose Setting Powder in the shade Translucent. They have some of their setting powder and I really love it, but maybe that one has kind of like a color to it. Like I know they have like a banana powder and different ones, like in one that's vanilla shade. And this one is just a translucent powder. So I'm really excited to try this. And I love all the Anastasia Beverly Hills packaging, especially for all their face stuff with their foundation and everything like that. Everything has this really nice, clean, classy packaging. So it looks good and all uniform on your vanity. So I really like how discreet this little packaging is. Anyways, that is it for this fall haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, you can give it a thumbs up. Say hey, ghoul hey down in the comments because you know I love talking to you. Also, don't forget everything mentioned in this video will be linked in the description box below so you can find it there. And yeah, uh, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.